Hey guys, welcome to today's first impressions. I am super jazzed about this product because I think I feel like the last person who has actually tried out any ColourPop cosmetics. A lot of people are using them on YouTube. They now have highlighters and blushes as well, I believe. But I got a nice surprise gift in the mail from Kathleen Lights, which of course made me feel really special, A, and B, I really, I've been curious about the formulation of ColourPop, so this could not be a better chance for me to try out something that a fellow YouTuber has created and try out the formula of ColourPop. So we are going to play with these colors. The packaging is so cute. It's called the Where the Light Is, and you get four shades in here. Two are matte, one is pearlized, one is metallic. Now, I have not opened this, I haven't swatched this, I have no idea what I'm going to do for my eye look, but let's just play and see how this goes. And of course, we will check in throughout the day. I am doing a bunch of errand running and we will do a ton of check-ins and see how the shadow is actually holding up. So, <laughs> these all go together really well. They're very neutral and pretty, so let's try this out. Kind of feels like concealer. That's weird, but not wet. Huh, interesting. Okay, so it's very bouncy. It kind of reminds me of the Maybelline bouncy blushes. That is interesting. And does swatch out really very nice. Uh, okay, so that is the shade Cornelius, Super Shock Shadow, that's the matte shade. This is another matte shade called Glow. I can already tell we're gonna use this all over the eye. But let's see here, Blaze is a metallic shadow. Immediately when I opened the package up, my eye just kind of went And I love this kind of a bronzy, look how it's swatching on my finger. That's pretty bomb. Wow. All right, that's gonna be like all over my eyelid in two seconds. That's really, really pretty. Oh, the, how cute. The last shade is actually called Kathleen Lights. And this is a pearlized finish. Get this open. And this is just a beautiful coppery bronze shade. Really soft. This one is the softest of all of them that I have touched. Here's how it is on my fingertip. Holy smokes. Wow. All right, so um, I'm hopping on the ColourPop train right about now because these are really, really beautiful. Um, I need a napkin or something. I think I got to get a napkin. Shy, yi, yi. I'm assuming these are best applied with fingertips. We're gonna start with this matte shade and just take it all over. I really don't know much about how these are supposed to layer or anything. Um, I feel like other YouTubers are going to watch me and be like, you're doing it wrong. That's not how you do a color pop. Okay, so that's going all over the lid really nicely. This is a Zoeva, not necessarily an eye brush. It's big and fat. It's a concealer buffer brush, but I like how rounded the tip is for really getting in the crease and like buffing partially on the lid and in the crease. This is so interesting. It's so pigmented. Okay, I'm gonna take the shade Blaze all over the lid. This is definitely quick shadow, like I'm not really doing much detail work, I'm just using my fingers and it's really pigmented straight away, but it does blend really nicely, so I like that. I feel like I want something powdery in the crease, so I am going to take a little bit of my Burberry shadow on a MAC 224. This is the shade Chestnut, and I'm just going to add a little bit of depth on that outer corner. I had a feeling that I would want to use some type of powder with this, which is not a problem because Lord knows I own so many eyeshadows and just popping a powder on the outer corner doesn't take much. 
Um, I'm scared because I really want to pop this on the center of the lid because it's just so pretty. Let's just do it. Why not? All right, so I'm literally just hitting the center. I feel like I want to brighten up the under, under the brow bone a little bit. So I am going to take a brush. So I'm going back and forth and blending a lot. This is typically what I do. It's not like I do one step and then completely move on to the other and then completely move on to the other. I think the best makeup is when you look in the mirror and you go, okay, this area needs a little blending, this needs a little adjusting, and when you can kind of go back and forth and just be your be an artist, approach your face like an artist, and these are your paints, and you can go back and forth. You don't have to stop using one color just because you've moved on to the next. So adjust things to your liking. Make sure it's all blended really beautifully. So I kind of want to keep the eyes just really open, smoky, smudgy. I'm not going to do any winged liner or any liner on the lid, in fact. I am going to line my waterline just so that my lashes stand out a little bit more. And I'm taking my, uh, this looks scary. It's really not, I promise. This is from Makeup Forever, classic favorite of mine. So Aqua Eyes, liner, and black. And that just frames the eye a little bit. I am going to curl and apply mascara and then do a little work on the lower lash line. I'm taking my Dior Iconic Over Curl and we are going to load up those lashes. And now I am going to take a smaller brush. This is a Makeup Geek pencil brush and I'm gonna take this gorgeous color right here and put this underneath the eye. It's so weird when I Press it in here, look how like gel-like that is. And just for kicks, let's take some of the bronzier shade, blaze, and go on the outer portion. I think Kathleen did an excellent job selecting shades. These are very wearable for so many different skin tones, just really beautiful neutrals. And I like that there's not just a metallic, really bright, shiny finish, that you get some matte shades in here as well. So I like it so far. Let's plop on some mascara on the lower lash line. And then I think I am gonna line my waterline as well. So this is the look I came up with on the spot. I did not play with any of these colors beforehand and really didn't know what I was gonna do, but I like that this is smoky but soft at the same time. If you scale back on the liner and don't do the false lashes, you can totally make a smokier look like this daytime appropriate. And it's shimmery and fun and colorful, but still, just kind of neutral toned and wearable, if that makes any sense. So I dig it. We will see how this holds up. I need to go and run some errands. So I will check back in with you guys in just a little bit. So far I feel really natural. I feel like my eyes are shimmery, but in the just enough kind of a way. And because I foregoed, foregoed, for what? Because <laughs> I, I skipped the word. <laughs> out on liner I, and false lashes, I feel like this does have a more wearable kind of almost bohemian vibe. Like I feel very just smudgy and sparkly and it has really good staying power though. I literally am going to need to scrub my hand with makeup remover and not just soap because this won't wash off. But we were running out the door and we are headed to run some errands. So that's what's up. Check in number one. It is 2.30 in the afternoon. So far, good. So the errand running continues. We're at Glendale Galleria. I thought you said we were going to Burbank. James needs his glasses fixed, so we're going to Oakley to get a little plastic thing for his glasses. And it ended up being in the mall, so we might eat in the food court. That might happen. She's so pretty. I just love my Tati. I know. I'm getting ready for Movember. 
in six months. You know what? All of you guys that were like here years ago, I don't know if you remember, but I used to have a goatee. And I thought that it made me look mysterious and dangerous. And I don't like this clean shave and stuff, so I, I'm like trying to grow it out, and it's really itchy. And Tati doesn't like it. <laughs> and she's looking at me right now, like, what are you doing talking to my camera? But um, yeah, what do you think? Uh, clean shaven or goatee? Yeah. Well, you oh man, god dang it. What's wrong with your fork? I just scraped underneath the table. Oh, that's <laughs> Princess and the pea. I am just having issues Oh today. my gosh. I am like, okay, my germaphobe self is like coming out to play. I can't handle it. And I'm really hungry and I just need to eat. Oh, you're the best. You have one ready? Thanks. Mmm. The mall lighting is not flattering. But I think my makeup is doing okay. I keep doing that instead of just looking down. Uh, it's still sparkly, still a little bit shiny, shimmery, and yeah, that's about it. Puka! It's so exciting! Puka! My Lulu's order came in just in time for Coachella. Um. I'm not gonna go through everything in this video, but I will be wearing a lot of this and vlogging at Coachella, so. Yay, I'm so excited. Oh, it's just really quickly. Look at these, cute. Just new heels. Probably not for Coachella, but still, okay. Hey guys, it's about 10.30 at night. I need to jump in the shower because I'm a sweaty mess. This is my real day and I went for a run most of my makeup is gone. However, I did want to sit down and share with you guys that my eye makeup is still pretty strong. It is still there. I am very impressed with the staying power of the ColourPop shadows. I really like them. I want more colors. I actually already went online and I was like, dang, dang, dang. I'd like purple, I'd like some taupe, I'd like some shimmery champagne. Um, I like these shades. They are very warm shades and I kind of teeter back and forth. I like some cool tone whatnot in the mix as well, but these shades are beautiful. I definitely will be using them, especially that copper shade is kind of an accent with other powder shadows that I already use and love often. I think that I'm really excited to see how it works in with other products and not just all ColourPop. Why is there fuzz flying around my room? What the heck? Anyway, I like it. I probably look like crap right now. I'm trying to get in shape. I'm trying to gain some muscle and work out and be healthier and uh, it's a challenge because I'm filming all the time. So forgive my face that I have had a long day, but take a good close look at this shadow because it's still sparkly. So bravo ColourPop Cosmetics and Kathleen Lights. You are cute as can be and I love this little kit that you created. Um, I definitely think it is worth an order and it's only 20 bucks. She actually sent me a note with the package and it said, uh, I wanted you to be one of the first to try this out because that's not expensive. And I just literally heard her voice when I was reading the card and I thought it was super cute. Anyway, it's not very expensive, great quality. I like it, big thumbs up. And I hope you guys enjoyed following me throughout my day in this video and I will see you next time. Mwah.